Hey, yo, what up, y'all? Peace, man. It's your big homie, Big Mike, checking in. Real Talk TV, y'all. Hey, y'all, what up, man? Hope y'all having a good day out there. And if you're not having a good day, hey, man, peace and blessings to you. Better days will come. Keep your head up, man. Keep striving, all right? But anyway, um, I want to talk to you guys about something that I recently been through. And I want to share this with you guys because I know somebody out there need to hear this is Bottom line, look, anybody who had the nerve to betray you, switch up on you, whatever, for whatever minuscule little reason, right? Let's say you didn't do anything to deserve that from this person. Let's just say that person just up and one day said, you know what, to hell with this motherfucker. Like, I'm done with them, right? Let's just say that they just got that in their spirit one day, right? And they just decided to kick you to the curb. Now you left feeling devastated. You're like, damn, how could he do me like that? I've never done anything wrong to them. I've always been a good friend. Whatever the case may be, right? Listen, screw them. S screw them, all right? If anybody has the nerve to kick you to the curb like you've been nothing to them, when you know you've been nothing but a good friend, you search your heart, you're like, man, I've never done nothing but look out for this dude or this this chick. I've never done nothing but show love and never envied them and always supported them, rooted them on, and they had the nerve to just play me to the left like that and just kick me to the curb like I meant nothing. Talking about that. If you have that happen to you, forget them. Move on with your life. Do not give them the satisfaction that they meant that much to you if they showed how much you meant to them by treating you the way that they did. And that's real talk. Don't ever give them the satisfaction, the satisfaction that they meant so much to you when they've already proven by their actions that you meant very little to them. If I know I've been nothing but good to somebody and they still had the nerve to switch up on me or do me dirty, hey, that says a lot more about their character than mine, period. If I did something to deserve that, different story. I can say, well, damn, I had that coming. But if I know damn good and well, I've done nothing but been good to this person and they still had the nerve to play me, hey, I already know this person here, they are not loyal. They, they, don't, they, don't have, they don't got that spirit in them. They don't got that real spirit in them. Because only fake people do stuff like that. So they clearly don't have the character that you got. So why are you going to stoop to their level, man, and let them know that they meant so much to you by trying to find out, hey, man, what did I do wrong? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? You didn't do nothing wrong. That's them. They should be apologizing to you. They should humble themselves and say, you know what, man, I made a mistake. I, I, did, I did you dirty. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not all about cutting people off all the time like we got all these videos about people just cutting people off like they just tell y'all to just cut everybody off like cut your mama off cut your daddy off cut your friend off cut everybody like god dang like we always talking about cutting everybody off um which may be necessary in some cases but if you got somebody who did you dirty man and they are truly repentant of that and they show genuine you know uh remorse through their actions then fill them out and just see, man. Don't just be so quick to do that all the time. Because some people you got too much history with, man. You can't just cut everything off like it meant nothing to you. you just be out here cold, just cutting everybody off that you got, that you built history with. So you got to uh, assess the situation. Just basically assess it. Like, if they don't seem genuine, hey, leave them alone. And don't give them satisfaction. Like I said, if they prove that they were so cold, to do you like that, man? Why are you after them for trying to figure out, hey, what I do wrong? Let it go. Let it go. Because one day, I tell you, one day, they are going to come to regret it because it is not easy to find good people in the world. Good people are few and far between. They're hard to find. They're like diamonds in the rough. They're not out there on the ground. They can, you can just go pick up and like, like a rock or something like that. They are hard to come by. So when you've been nothing but good to them and they had the nerve to still switch up on you and did you dirty, 
telling you, it's going to come back on them one day. Just give it time. Your job is to take your hands off, live your life, move on in peace. That's their decision that they decided to do you like they did. Just let them live with their decision. You move on in peace. Because you know what? There's more fabulous people out here that you can possibly meet. You say, hey, worried about this one person. Screw them. They obviously didn't give a damn about you. So why are you showing yourself to give so much of a damn about them? Let them go. Because once somebody decides to play you like that, that you've never meant any harm to, once they do that, man, they're already showing you. They hard ain't with you. That's shown by the actions. Like I say, always, always listen to the actions. Oh, excuse me. Watch the actions. <laughs> always observe the actions of other people, man. Like, you got to observe the actions. To hell with the words. Words don't mean nothing at the end of the day. It's only... It, it, they just say it because it sounds nice, but you got to watch people's actions. They'll tell you everything you got to know. Everything. So... Don't give anybody that, man. Don't give anybody that kind of power over your life that, like, their absence is going to, like, make your world come crumbling down. Like, the hell with them, man. The hell with them. Like, anybody play me di dirty now? I'm like, man, peace, man. I'm at peace with myself. That's one thing. Like, I'm married and all of that. Yeah, but, like, at the end of the day, I'm at peace with myself. Like, it does not bother me to be alone. I'm not a lonely person, but I don't mind being alone. Like, I'll be alone for a minute. Like, I love being by myself. Love being by myself. Like I say, like even in times with my with my wife, I'd be like, damn, like I love this woman, but God damn, like I just wanna like chill sometimes to myself. And she knows how I am, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I say all that to say, uh I say all that to say, man, like don't give anybody satisfaction to think that they can bring you down to that level, man. Let them go. If they had the nerve to show you that you meant absolutely nothing to them, then hey. It just match their energy. Oh, it's like that? Shit, <laughs> peace. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. And you know you've been nothing but good to them. And they still had to never do you like that? And cut their and just cut their behind off, bro. Hey, just send, send them on anyway. Like, all right, that's what you want to do? Peace, man. I ain't got time. But yeah, anyway, man. So I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did. Hit the like button, support your boy, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Hit me up in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys think, all right? I would appreciate that. Until next time, your big homie, Big Mike, checking out.